and welcome back this is the paracord weaver and today we're going to talk about monkey fists uh, i've had a lot of requests from people that they're struggling with this and uh, they wanted to know if i could make an easier video uh, so that they could follow along and uh, make these themselves so i told them that i would make one um, i wasn't going to guarantee that it would be any easier to make but hopefully the instruction is clear and they'll be able to follow it. So what we're going to do is start with a jig. Uh, it's just a, a standard block of wood. Uh, you can pick up anywhere, Hobby Lobby, uh, any craft store probably. Um, we're going to drill four holes uh, and we're going to use a golf ball. And we're going to start uh, with two pieces of cord. We have a primary color. The primary color is going to be 20 feet long, and the reason that we need 20 feet the way that I make these is that I need 5 feet of cord coming out from the monkey fist so that I can tie the handles and clasps and whatever else I need to do. And then I need 5 feet of cord for each face of the ball that I'm going to wrap. So the primary color is going to color or cover two sides of the ball. So I need five feet for each side, so that's going to be ten feet of cord, and then I need five feet from there to finish my knotting. Secondary color, we need fifteen feet. Uh, same reasons, I need five feet coming out, I need five feet for the one face we're going to cover, and then uh, five feet to tie our handles and clasps and things together. So what we start with is we start five feet in, and we're going to go inside just like this, and we're going to begin to turn it counterclockwise, okay, just like this. And we'll put our ball in so we don't make it too tight, okay, we're at three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay. Now. People like to use FIDS on these, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with using FIDS. FIDS make it easier for sure. Um, but I want to show people how to do it without that to show them that they can do it. You don't have to have special tools. Okay? So we have two, four, six, oops, there we go, eight. And what we're going to do is come, we're going to go halfway around. Okay? We're just going to go halfway around again. And then we're going to come right back at us, just like that. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. Okay, we're going to come right back at us. And then we're going to do another eight wrap. So up to this point, what we've done I'll give you a quick overview of where we're at so far. We did an eight wrap clockwise. We stopped here. We went around halfway again. Oops, get that a little tight there and loosen it up. So we did an eight wrap. We stopped. We went halfway around. And we came right back at us. And then now we're going to do an eight wrap this way. it up a little bit there. Yeah, try not to make it too tight when you're doing these wraps because um, you need a little bit of room to work because that's eight wrap is pretty pretty snug inside the jig to get all the cord in there. Uh, you could probably do it with seven if you wanted. And again, watch your twist of your cord because this will all come out to play when you go to finish it off. We have two, four, six, seven. One more time. Here we go, eight. And make sure that when you finish this, that we're going underneath and we're just going to finish straight out like this so that we're opposite. You can see that there. We're opposite like that. Okay, and that's important because that's how we're going to do this up here. Okay, so now we take our secondary color 
and we come five feet in and you can see I put a mark on this one so that I know where to start and we're going to start in exactly the same place that we started our original cord so we're going to put this one in between in between here this whole wrap is going to stay inside of these slots over this underneath of this one okay so we're going to come down just like this and we're going to run it out till we get to our five foot mark okay now when I actually make these for people I don't mark the cord I just do a rough estimate because I always have enough cord to be able to change things up if I need to um, this is one project you don't want to end up short with so but I, for the demonstration I went ahead and marked it okay so there we are there and then now I'm going to be working with the extra cord which is the 15 feet of cord here or sorry 10 feet of cord that's left on the uh, secondary color and we're going to go inside and you can see we're coming out there we go watch your twist and make sure that when you come underneath that you go underneath of this cord try not to get it caught under there okay Now we're going to come up through the slot just like we did on the other one there. Okay. Just like that. And again, we're going inside. We're coming out the bottom, underneath of everything here. Okay. Again, watch your twist. Some of this cord likes to twist on us when we pull it through. Okay. Make sure that this baby stays where she's supposed to be. just looks like it snuck up on you there a little bit okay and then we're going to come up and again you can use a fid a fid will make this a little easier um, but if you don't have one that's okay you don't need one the way that I do it here because our cord that we're going inside of is all wrapped around these dowels so it gives us a nice place to work. So we can just push our cord through. Okay. Okay, watch our twist. there we go now it's coming together now at some point we can just slide it out of this jig um, but for the video I'm going to leave it in as long as I can so that it's easier for you to see what I'm doing because if I put my hand around it you won't be able to really see too much This is five. Okay. And watch 
watch the twist. There we go. Okay, we're going to go ahead and pull it out now because our dowels are starting to get in the way. And we'll just slide it out. Set that off to the side. And we'll start to finish this up here. So we're on seven, almost there. Okay, watch your twist. Okay, last one coming up. And then now what we're going to do is finish on exactly the same side as this one. So what we have is a roughed-in monkey fist. And we have two cords that come out opposite of each other. Oops, like this. So then we can tie our knots. And you see that our cord is pretty close to being all the same size here when we're done. Um, but of course we're going to take the slack out of this cord and then we'll go from there. So this is the Paracord Weaver. This is part one of how to make a uh, easy monkey fist. And we're going to go ahead and break this video up and I'll show you how to tighten this up. Um, so that everything turns out nice when you're done. So it's the Paracord Weaver. We hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in part two.